What's going on guys? So here in beautiful Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota to be exact, at a Toro event where we're going to be demoing some new products, new mowers, uh, prototypes, things like that. So we're headed to Toro HQ we're right now uh, at the Radisson Blue Hotel. Just finished up with a delicious breakfast here at the Fire Lake, Fire Lake restaurant. So if you're in this area visiting the Mall of America, definitely check this place out. Food is wonderful, the service is outstanding. But anyways, Gotta head upstairs, gotta get my bag ready. We're gonna be rolling out a little bit, all loading onto the bus. So stay tuned here to the channel. We're gonna be showing you some new and exciting equipment, mowers, things like that from Toro. This for a hallway in a hotel. Again, this is the the Radisson Blue on the seventh floor, room 708. So I go all the way down here to the end. Man, that's a freaking hike. This place is nice. So here we go, this is a room. So it looks like it was, I guess, two queen size beds. And out here, we got a wonderful view of the side of the mall so that is the mall of america i know not much to uh, see but the place is freaking massive anyways this was the hotel room for me you know we stayed last night so this is the morning of the event bathroom right here blah 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 but anyways Got to get my bag together, going to head out, load up on the bus with everybody else. So uh, just to let you know, uh, some of the guys that are here, uh, we've got Brad Bear, um, Josh Draper with Stony Ridge Farmer on YouTube. And then we've got Paul Jamison, Sean Spencer, uh, Christian Schlegel, 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 I can't even pronounce his last name, with CNI Services. Uh, we've got Naylor Taliaferro with LCR Media. Uh, who else is in the house? Um, I'm probably missing some. Cameron Duncan is here, Mr. Uh, Mosery himself. And let's see. Oh, Abel Cruz is here, Law Enforce LLC. And Johnny. Johnny's here with Blades of Grass Lawn Care down in Georgia. So he's here. I think that's it. Uh, I think I got everybody. But anyways, I want to thank Toro for putting on this event and uh having us down looking forward to today can't wait to see what they've got in store for us so uh i wasn't here for the event last year um i wasn't affiliated with toro at the time but um so this is my first time here first time at the mall of america that place is insane it's impossible to see that place in one day um so you gotta be here for a few days but if you're in the minneapolis area close by whatever definitely come check out the mall of america All right, so we're saying bye to the hotel, Radisson Blue. Loading up on this big old bus right here. That's our wonderful crew. Thanks for taking care of us. Baylor's butt. Man, this is a first class right here. Yeah. It's like a Oh, Look, there's a celebrity on the bus. Oh, we got nuts. We got <laughs> What's up? Oh, yeah. Morning, morning, morning. And the man. Hey, what's up, guys? The man. So we're on the bus. I know you can't see it, but there's a truck over there. And some of the guys said that there's uh, three orange uh, scab mowers on the trailer. I've never heard of scabs. Yeah, Christian, where do you where do you get scabs at? The scab? scab mowers, yeah. I don't know, not around here. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't. I've never seen them. Never seen let a scab. Y'all, let me know in the comment section down below if you know where to get scabs. <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look at that.
So here we are, the Toro Company. We made it. Pretty cool. There you go, put that on your line, bro. I got it. Come on in, guys. No, that's really, that's really cool. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to have that tractor at the house. already man this is insane dude i, I love know. it we ain't even been here two minutes i know okay. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very imagine excited. that josh is feeding us a bunch of bologna right <laughs> and if you guys want to see a lot of yeah. josh's bologna make sure you guys stick around because tomorrow we're going to bologna land bologna <laughs> 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 yes All right, so I found the uh, Toro I want. You guys, I missed a, I missed a bunch of content because Paul told me to stop recording. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is um really cool because when you first come in this place, you come down, it's like a uh, a museum here. They got a ton of stuff from like the early 1900s all the way up until now. So. Really, really neat. All right, you guys, so we're here at the Bloomington Park. Walking up on the equipment that they have out for us. So excited to go check this out. Of course, I'm gonna give y'all as much footage uh, as I can of these items. I'm gonna get my stuff settled and check them out. I've been using the Husqvarna for two years okay. exclusively. Yeah. Um, I have a truck with none but battery powered uh, okay. stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was kind of hoping Toro will come up with something. So, awesome. No, definitely. Do you have an edger? Or is it is it on in, on a way or? Uh, we don't have an edger currently, just this hedge trimmer. Oh, right the there, hedge but, trimmer? Yeah. Check out this battery bank. This is for the, the Revolution batteries. So you can put, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six batteries on here. This is their new backpack. Looks like it holds two packs. Right here. So it's all working off of our new 10 amp hour battery. So this is new to Toro coming out. So we have the up to seven and a half currently. This is gonna be a 10 amp hour system. It'll work within this backpack here. Any of the batteries will fit in here, so that this 10 amp hour works across the line. So in snow, in any of our existing FlexForce battery products, works across the whole platform. This one takes two of the 10 amp hours, um, but again, yeah, you can put seven and a half amp in there, board. six, whatever. Uh, can we ask blower. questions while you're talking? Or you yep, know absolutely, no, please. What's the weight on the uh, 10 amp battery? 23.7 pounds. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, be weird if it was no, that's too much. Let's see if I have. That's not. That's not. That's not twenty-three. <laughs> it felt like eight pounds. Eight pounds. Okay, eight pounds. about to say yep. eight. Okay. Yes. And it's the only one with a handle to help okay. with carrying it as well. Gotcha. The backpack system here. They go in. 
it'll work with a tether so you can tether in the hedge trimmer or the string trimmer right here the weight is more balanced now in this in the string trimmer because the motor's down here it's not up here so it's gonna be a lot easier on the operator all the weights in the backpack and on the end here so there's less on your wrist so the motors in the bottom yep okay what the heck is the motor man is it I'm not I'm trying to figure out yep. usually see a big right there hmm. and then here's the blower the blower is running at 700 CFM about 160 miles an hour so compare that to other battery backpack blowers in the market they're running at about 600 or less so far more powerful a lot more similar to gas okay. you said 700 CFM. 700 CFM yep have a 40 uh, and a 24 so with this a lot of just nice enhancements over where we've been previously so all the operation controls are far more intuitive so we worked a lot with contractors to make sure the control layout fits how they do the job so everything is readily accessible easy to use no more cables everything solid rod linkages so a lot more higher quality there um, both ways so if somebody hits something you're not breaking these extension booms here anymore easier tie downs um, this hopper actually has a channel lock um, this version doesn't but the one that's in pilot that we're actually launching has a channel lock on both sides so when you're driving no more of this um, a lot of things on maintenance and usability where quick drain valves down here just pop it open boom everything drains um, one easy thing there batteries right there the, this hopper now easily comes up this one goes a little bit farther than production but locks in here easy access for everything there's a pan here for all the oil to drain in so you can collect it it'll drain right out here put a bucket underneath you collect it all no mess so a lot of little things um, with just everything being open accessible more comfort with a larger pad rubber suspension down below here so just a, a much better experience overall for the user far easier maintenance than, than in the past um, hose reel move most people are right-handed you move the hose reel to the right side just overall a lot of things like that um, it's designed now to be running uh, four to six miles an hour most people run at five so we got the calibration we got everything aligned for people running at five miles an hour this unit will go up to 10 miles an hour so i mean it, it, it'll cruise but <laughs> horsepower grandstand called the grandstand HDX so it's a prototype planning production this spring but um, key features here to talk about right off the bat is what hits you right in the front it's first of all big I-beam front end so really when we designed this machine we wanted it to be tough we wanted to really exude that confidence in the machine that's durable and gonna last and it will too we've got a fantastic warranty on this machine that's gonna be gonna be coupled with the unit but I-beam front end big front plate here hood easy access to your belts and then as mentioned the other group you know, people get creative with this area up in the front no, I mean you can tie a bucket on that way you can put sticks in there trash you can I mean honestly this is big enough you could fit a blower and a trimmer on it you put a five gallon bucket on there Hell, our, uh, a garbage can so if you're you know have a lot of things you need to haul stuff around the property you can do that very easily we have options coming in, uh, out on this, a so 52 and a 60 inch with the FX921 Kawasaki motor. Then we've got a 60 and a 72 with the Vanguard 37 horsepower with oil guard and electronic throttle control. So, Clutch. 
you know, new engine option for us on our stand-on lineup. We've had a lot of feedback on the high horsepower side, so this is really addressing that. With that, we're keeping the same trusted Turbo Force deck. You know, that's um, the deck cuts very well. We've had a lot of great feedback on it, um, so we're keeping that fold up operator platform is still going to be there. Um, same operating system with your control levers. Then Mike brought up earlier height of cut adjustments. You know it's not your not your chain or anything like that. It's the what do you call this Mike? The rod hangers here? Yeah. So hangers. you have fine tune adjustment. Um, I just call them rod hangers, but yeah your deck hangers there. Uh, nice easy adjustment for fine tuning every corner of your deck makes it a lot easier um, and a lot heavier duty than what we've got today to go with the heavier decks. Yeah. Perfect, thanks. And then the other thing is big tires, so 24 inch tires on this. It's just, I mean, and I, I look forward to hearing what you guys say when you operate. I mentioned that earlier. It's a it's a big machine, right? And, and it, that's it, what it, we need, it's a beast. That's well, what that's, I need. Well, that's, <laughs> tell us what you think after you're on it, yeah. you know, because it, it might be a home run with you and you might say, well, it's, it's too big, it doesn't handle well. I mean, we've had some pretty positive feedback on it though, so I think we're in a pretty good spot here. All right, you guys, so I'm here with the legend, Johnny Blades of Grasso. Uh, first time getting to meet him and super stop, pumped stop. about that. <laughs> but anyways, so a uh, uh, fanboy for a second. But anyways, uh, Johnny is a super cool dude, and I'm sure anybody following me is already uh, uh, following him. But anyways, Johnny, what's like a key takeaway um, from the last two days here with Toro? Man, let me tell you, um, again, you get to see uh, brand new technology. You guys know that I'm a big technology guy. Spanking new technology. Um, you get to see a lot of new equipment, new stuff coming out. And guys, I'm telling you, if you're not going to the GIE, you need to make it. This is going to be my first GIE. So hopefully I can get a chance to meet you as well. So make sure that you guys make it. All right, man. We appreciate it. And what's that famous saying? Uh, smoke. That's it. <laughs> All right, you guys. We had an awesome time here in Minneapolis at the Toro event and got to meet some new friends. <laughs> North Carolina native. Got to meet uh, Johnny finally. But I just want to thank Toro for having us out sampling these uh, new equipment. But anyways, thank you guys also to Performance Marketing uh, for the opportunity. And if you got any questions, comments, whatever, leave them down below. Hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button. Browse the channel. We'll see you next video.